love that it says that now. All right, welcome back, y'all. I know, and I get like a little pop up. Welcome back. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, I like. Okay, a little throwback. (laughs) (laughs) What song is that? Kissing game, guy. Uh, I like the way. Yeah. A little throwback. You kiss me when you play in the, the kissing, kissing game. game. Mm-mm. Random. <laughs> yeah, y'all young kids wouldn't know anything about that, but I think most of our listeners were probably raised in the 90s, 80s, something like that. So probably we'd like to assume. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 So mm-hmm. what's, happened? what's been going on? It's been a while. It's been a while. I would say um, as far as like where I live in Nashville, it's now a very, it's getting real summery, spring summery now. I mean, we've had a struggle winter, I would say. We, we I mean, it was just 40 degrees last week and now we're in the 80s <laughs> I heard that was a lot of so, this weather been bipolar as fuck so um you know it's been nice to kind of have some sunshine some warm weather I feel like we're gonna skip spring and just go straight into summer with these uh weather um temperatures but other than that, girl, not a whole lot going on over here. Just trying to preserve and stay busy and cute and, you know, all the things. What about you? Girl, sounds good. Sounds good. I have been, you know, I've been traveling for the last few weeks, but I'm getting ready to move. So I've been just preparing for that. I move like every year. <laughs> Everybody knows this about me. <laughs> so yeah I'm preparing to move and yeah get started with that I actually got movers this year which is man that is the best decision I've ever made in my life (laughs) it's a good adult decision (laughs) like right just to know all I gotta do is kind of pack everything up and they'll move like the heavy stuff and I don't have to worry about oh my gosh for every item who's gonna deliver it who's gonna pick it up do I need a truck like it's just perfect so We'll see. Love this that for you. Best move ever. Yeah. Are you excited to move back to where you're going? <laughs> I love how you phrase that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to move. <laughs> no, I'm okay. excited. I'm okay. excited to go back to where I was at previously. I've been hopping around for a little bit, but yeah, I'm gonna go okay. back. To that area because rent has been going up everywhere so yeah I'm I'm gonna look in the next year to try to buy a property but until then I think I'm gonna be in that area mm-hmm. California okay. Yeah. okay gotcha yep even Love though California, California I'm actually excited to come visit you more in California. even though California, California is the Cali is the wild wild west, west right now is what the media is portraying know. you know? know so ciao it's just gonna be business moves <laughs> after business moves and that's it i don't see no <laughs> lingering in the streets happening <laughs> at this moment well they lifted the mask mandate for the airlines so i'm excited about that I'm not even gonna lie to you I hate masks I get I it people that. have COVID but I just traveled like a week and a half ago so I'm just like when did that happen I think it just happened literally within the last week and a half like it was very okay. recent um when I saw it I mean I don't know how technically how long it's been lifted but it's been quite soon but you can still wear your mask I know a lot of people on my timeline are like, I'm still wearing my mask. Like, da da da. And then I have a lot of people that are like, man, fuck the mask. 
because I can't stand. I'm just wondering if it's if it's all airlines or each individual airline. I don't know because I know it's the airport too. So it could just be the airport, not the airline. Yeah, because I know no, there's airlines because you know one of our mutual friends who's a flight attendant. She was like, "I'm just happy that I don't have to get harassed and cussed at for a rule that I didn't come up with." Girl, you know, because they're sometimes they're just going overboard. Like I think I saw the I saw the damn flight attendant like literally bump three people over, knock over a suitcase, and chase somebody down to tell an elderly <laughs> man that his mask was not over the top of his nose. Like we are two and a half years into COVID at this point. If this mask slips beneath the nose, I'm gonna need you to not act like Chill. the world is coming Chill. to an end. Like. What's going to happen is going to happen. Y'all got the vaccines. Y'all got everything y'all need to combat this. I just, right. I just feel like. Chill. <laughs> Chill, Bill. Yeah, what can we do? Panicking is not going to help anybody at this point. So, But you know, we have some flight attendants that are just extra by nature. It, they can't help it. I feel like we, I, know. I feel like that in a lot of positions, like managers and people like that. It's just so funny how far and ego based they take authority like giving someone power to to enforce rules Girl. <laughs> just, it can be funny it's it so <laughs> funny especially in the airport it's so funny girl you would think you were walking through the fbi fucking they do not play at the airport like you just no. never know what you're gonna get yeah you never know what you're gonna get but god bless them Ooh. Um, so what's been going on in these streets? What's today? It is April 24th. Sunday, the 24th. Yeah, time's flying. Time is flying. I know Black China um, has been in the news recently relating to her feeling like the Kardashians have, or Kris Jenner, the mom, had a lot to do with um her show with rob being kicked off the air or not being i don't know renewed for a second season or something like that they're in court right so she is yeah they're currently in court i have not been keeping up with the trial but i have seen things where um you know there apparently there's been some riffraff in the media about it all um, I don't really know where I weigh on the spectrum because Robin China was so many moons ago, or at least it feels that way to me. It sure do. So I, I don't really know. Um, but I will say I do feel bad for Black China just off the strength of I'm sure Chris Jenner is lawyered the frick up for every lawyer. One lawyer that Black China has, Chris probably has like five. <laughs> yeah so, and she got everything all this dirt being dug up I saw that like Black China apparently wanted to kill Kylie <laughs> and I'm just like who wouldn't want to kill Kylie the fuck <laughs> you were my friend's yeah. little sister and you stole my baby yep. daddy like yes yeah, I wanted facts. to kill her at that moment like and then I'm like so are you admitting that everyone in the family knew that Kylie underage was dating Tyga who was like 26 and Kylie was like Girl. 16 or 15. I'm like, okay. It's such a hypocritical situation. That family, as much as I have a love, I don't want to say hate relationship with the Kardashians. I don't think hate's the right word. I just have like a love annoyance, I guess, relationship <laughs> with them because I, I feel them. like they're so, um, I don't feel like they're as naive to a lot of things that they tend to act like they are on especially when it comes to like relationships and who dated who first and who I want to pick and choose I have an attitude with now that they got caught up with my man type of energy but oh how we soon forget how you were messing with and how certain members of that family were messing with people that they were friends with man and all the things I don't know I just feel like they play a card and they're really good at it and um when the shoe was on the other foot it's like oh I want to cry like unfairness wolf all the things it's like no baby it doesn't work like that I saw a thing recently where Chloe said that 
she and I'm paraphrasing she um really feels like social media is just a big bully for her when it comes to her child and Tristan and certain things and I'm thinking like girl that's because you are a social media family you are a reality tv show family that loves reality that gets paid off of being in the news and yeah. all of the y'all things love it y'all love business. it y'all canceled so y'all you show can't... just to have a new show just to have a new show so i'm confused on <laughs> y'all did this big oh my god our 25 year we're canceling let's do a montage of all of our greatest moments only to then yeah. within nine calendar months have a whole new show on hulu called the kardashians <laughs> like and they're again here we I'm go so again confused. with me saying they package it how they want to package it it's still shit what it is they still try to rephrase it and reframe it because it's like you said it's the same exact thing it's a reality show about your life the only difference yeah. from what they are it's saying Hulu is now it is now they are the executive producers meaning like they get to I guess they were executive producers to a certain degree of the one that was on E or whatever show it was on but now they really have full control. And from interviews I've seen with Kris Jenner, she's saying it's more documentary style. So it's more before it was lag time with what they would put out, like from the event time that it happened to the time the show came out, it was like eight months. Mm -hmm. So now if something happens, they're able to document it right then and get it out to the media, like within weeks or something like that. So but it's like, but I regardless, claim y'all didn't want to, I thought y'all claimed y'all didn't lie. want that anymore. <laughs> I thought the whole thing was y'all exactly. said y'all did enough, y'all had enough. Like it's still a reality show. <clears throat> y'all are still out in the media. I don't, I'd rather them had said we are not, we are no longer doing reality TV with XYZ. We e, we're moving to Hulu. To move on to yeah. this because it suits our family better. Just Girl. do that. They pulled a Jay-Z. They pulled a goddamn Jay-Z when Jay-Z said he was retiring and then he put out album oh, after album. <laughs> like, nigga, you got all, like, come on. Yeah, that's yeah. what they did. I get it. But it's just, yeah. uh, y'all cannot complain Extra and bitch about, as y'all can't complain and bitch about being unfairly treated in the media when all y'all want to do is be in the media. Like, in the media, I'm confused. That's make all y'all want sense. is the headlines. And I, I don't feel like it's no coincidence about the timing. Like, I don't know if they're going to talk about, I haven't seen that Kardashian show, but you know, with the whole um, Astro World thing with Travis Scott, that was so big. I hope she, you know, not trying to milk that situation. And just the whole thing, you know, Kim and the divorce, like they make money off of all this shit. So all these controversies, I don't know. I don't even care. I don't care about the kids. I don't care about that. Like, I'm just <laughs> tired of them. I'm ready for a new family. If I'm honest, I'm just ready. I don't care race, nas- nationality, gender. I don't care. Just can we get a new family yeah. in the media or I'm really just something honestly, else? Just picky. I'm really picky about reality TV now. Like, I, lo- I love reality mm-hmm. TV, but I like old reality TV because I feel like you just don't get that authentic. Rash. You don't get that realness, like, with the new mm-hmm. shows. So... Mm-mm. yeah oh but i haven't watched Even- the dating shows sorry to cut you off but the dating shows from um you- like on netflix that's a real last oh. show i think it was like a, it's called like the Which ultimatum one? it's called oh. the ultimatum where they make their partner either um get you know propose or they're gonna break up and then they like swap partners before all that um just to see and then their partner decides at the end um, it's so really juicy. Mm. It was really good. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is giving me nineties. Like, I don't know. It was just giving me that nineties vibe. Like, okay, this is some real shit. <laughs> I, um, I used to watch love is blind that first, the first season, um, which I thought was a good show. I think I saw a few episodes of that when they were and the pods and you couldn't really see yeah yeah and it was mainly the personalities that made the show I guess that kind of makes a lot of shows but the personalities of some of those people were hilarious to me oh my god it's kind of funny um 
Yeah. And it's interesting too, because one of my favorite couples is actually still married from that show. Lauren and I forgot his name, the white boys. Black yeah, girl the and interracial white guys. They're couple. still married. I could see that. They really yeah. seem to hit it off immediately. So. They did. They God really did. That's so cute. if it works, it works. Would you ever go on a dating show? Let me ask you that. I don't know. I've definitely been hit up for a few dating shows with, you know, all the casting yeah. lists I'm on and stuff. I have done an audition for one, but I didn't get it. Um, I don't know. I do like the concept of love, love is blind. I like the concept of not being able to see, cause I feel like I attract a lot of people for the wrong reasons. Sometimes they're just people mm-hmm. who like me for like, mm-hmm. you know what I look like. And I would prefer to not, for it to not be that way immediately. Like, you know, at least, you know, someone <laughs> is listening to what you're saying. Like, you know, if they can't see you, at least, you know, they're listening to what you're saying. So <laughs> girl <laughs> a lot of these men and one ear out the other they're just like just looking at you you know yeah so. yes anything you say yes I'm, I can do that I can, yes okay Netflix and chill yes yes win girl. <laughs> send me oh. photo I'm like dude yeah. when I was single if you don't go on my social media and look at all those photos I'm not sending you nothing like <laughs> I gotta really like you to send you a picture like really like you oh, all right god my thing is, what do they do with the pictures once they get them? Like you know. get it, and it's like, ooh, like ooh, you gotta. It, like, I think it's I, a feel special type of thing because when you send them a picture that you've already posted, it's kind of just like really, <laughs> like they get mad. They don't like that gotcha. one. They don't like that one. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you gonna send me a picture that everyone else gotcha. seen? Okay. Like it's pictures on my Instagram, plenty, the best ones. I'm like, all right, actually. let me send you one of my negatives that didn't make. Yeah, yeah I, I don't want to send you the B roll that didn't make. Right. Why would I send you the B roll footage? Right. That's crazy. Um. Right. Yeah. Speaking of right. shows, though, <laughs> that's a good way to look at it. <laughs> the B roll. Speaking of shows, did you peep? Did you catch the snowfall finale? I know you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I honestly haven't watched it since I've, is it good? Is it something that, is it really good? It's so good. I watched it. I'm about okay, to watch I'm it third a- time. It's so fucking good. And now, now I have to go actually, back and rewatch. My now I got to go back and rewatch the whole season. Cause I don't think I appreciated the season enough. Maybe because I just, I missed some things. Right. But it, it gets so good at the end. I mean, it is so good. I don't want to spoil it for I'm you. I'm putting it in my phone right now. Cause if, I don't put it in my phone. I'm going to miss it. So girl, life of a busy woman, life of a busy woman, but yeah, got to watch it. It was one of the best finales I've seen in a long time. They did that. I was pleasantly surprised, you know, cause you know, with John Singleton gone, I was just hoping they could still keep the same essence of the show. And I felt like at the beginning, it just wasn't hitting the same, but now I see where they're going with it is a lot. It's different but it's working. It's great. It's phenomenal. It was a very good finale and I can't wait for the final season. I'm just really excited for that, but I'm also sad because I I don't want it to end. It's a really good show. So great acting too. Great characters. And what's his name? Is it Dame? What's his name? Franklin. Dampson. Mm Mm-hmm. Damson his Adrian. fine ass oh my god like He's so fine I saw in, girl did you see the shade room post his so-called boo yeah life some girl that he's with yeah I they said he's with sweetie for a second but I see it's not true yeah I one of my homegirls she wrote under the picture she was like can she fight <laughs> <laughs> he is so fine <laughs> Oh, and he's like, so fine. It's and he, just oh. especially because of his talent, you know, and then you think about it's all he has a, all a freaking accent. Like he's not even American. He's bringing all this, you know, energy to the role. It's just damn the accent on top of it. Go ahead, Damson. And he ain't even 30 you know who yet. he reminds me of though? What? So young. I don't rock his young world. Um, He reminds me of a, and this is like, People are probably gonna be like, what? How do you feel your figure? But he gives me Idris Elba vibes, yeah. like from a son standpoint. Not, not because they look alike, not because yeah. they act alike. They got the he, same name, he, basically. <laughs> he 
Idris, and he's from, he's got an accent and he plays a lot of American roles, but like Idris was that and still is to me. You don't see him necessarily in every single thing, but when you do see him in the things, he's really good at it. He's a good actor. He's fine than a mother. Like that man is so fine. And he just, I don't know. He's just, he's refreshing to me. And this kid is refreshing, but he's fine. He's different. He's good act. He's good at what he does. Whatever. I don't know. Great. He's, just, he's great. So. I don't know. I'm just so, like, he could be his son or something. I don't what, tell me, what is the last episode that, that you did watch of Snowfall? Girl, no, I'm, I'm honest. I have not seen, I've seen probably like three episodes, two or three episodes. Okay, it, you gotta so- get to at least about episode five or six. The last three episodes are amazing. And his acting, wow. his acting is phenomenal. It's giving Denzel Washington. Ooh. Like his acting is like, he's probably gonna get an Ooh. Emmy. It was great. Ooh, he's so fun. My God. And you know who else I missed too? This is, I don't know if we're just following the dark skin era, but uh, Kofi. Remember Kofi? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He used to be fine to me. I ain't seen him in pretty much anything right now, but he I is... forgot about him. Yeah, I think he's on some other stuff right now. Not acting. Is he? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. He's really into art and stuff. I I'm gonna know. have to watch it. I'll put it in my phone to to watch because I've loved some snowfall. I just had Yeah. Well Kofi was, was one just of those insecure. things where started- I'm lying. He was just an insecure last Oh week. yeah, he mm-hmm. was. Yeah. He was. He was. But I see he's like he in was. the fashion and all. He'd been modeling and like doing all this artsy stuff. So I don't know. On Instagram. The thing that I like about him, though, too, Kofi specifically, um, I don't know about the other two gentlemen. Well, I know, obviously, Idris, he's married to a black girl. But um, Kofi, he is very much like he's done several interviews where he's always like praising black women. Like he's just like a champion for black. Like he just I just be like, oh, talk about us like yes, yeah, stand up for us you know like he just could talk about us for days I don't know that's sexy to me I don't know yeah it just yeah. me and my sister would be like oh did you see what he said about black women and how and I was like yes Kofi yeah <laughs> Go I ahead hope and he's with a black... black queen honey I hope I wonder if he's with one he said he would he wouldn't be with anything else oh wow that's good and I know one of the girls that he dated, she was like, I think the model, she was like a, um, she was a model. She was black. She was black. Yeah, she was black, black. So Good for I don't him. know if she, I mean, you know, it I just, I, like I said, it's so refreshing to see people talk about us. I know, I'm like, I love to see our black men. Girl, that, that never happens even, anymore. Girl, we got to speak about it because it'd be so taboo. You'd be like, wait, what? You said what? About us? What? What? <laughs> He said, what about us? He, what did he say about us? Oh, he did. Okay. <laughs> Girl, yeah, speaking I'll of black it. woman, everybody is like, you've seen all everything going on with um, the young man that was murdered by his girlfriend. Um, mm-hmm. And it was self-defense. Um, it's, his name is slipping me, y'all. I don't know his name. Um, but the girlfriend there, she claims self-defense and I guess that she's not being held accountable. I don't know. I don't even think she was charged from what I know. So she killed him. She murdered him and she was seen like in pictures with his blood, his blood all over her. And then like the next day, she's just out about out and about enjoying her life in wherever in Miami and all over the place. She's just living her life. And so, you know, a lot of people have been um, protesting his death and saying, you know, she needs to be held accountable and stuff. And so from what I've seen, a lot of his old social media posts and tweets before he died have resurfaced. And it was showing that he was like bashing black women and comparing black women to white women and saying that, you know, all he wants is white women. And you know, people have now been kind of like going back and forth debating a lot of black women saying, well, that's not my problem. You know, this is the white women's fight. 
to bring justice to this man. It's not our problem because he didn't even like us. And the other people are like, well, he's still, you know, the son of a black woman. Like we need to, you know, we need to help him regardless, bring justice to this case. And I'm just like, damn, that is a pickle. That's a pickle. <laughs> people need to watch the shit they say. First of all, you know, that's unfortunate. I would never wish that on nobody ever. That's fucked up. If it's a domestic dispute, which apparently a lot of the witnesses have said they've had multiple domestic disputes, this couple, and they said that they've seen the, the, the woman hit him. The white girl has hit him multiple times in public, um, but somehow she still did not get charged. Mm -hmm. My thing is, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's a rock and a hard place here because it's sad when these things come up black women are the first ones to champion for justice for you know black men when they're slain in these streets but where is that respect you know when they're alive and living and well and doing well for themselves it's only <laughs> it's only when black men are at their lowest <laughs> for the most part except for our good brother Kofi apparently uh only when black men are at their lowest is when you know or dr umar a lot of people can't say yeah dr. there are umar, some other people i'm not gonna, i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna say that it. but there are a lot of men who make it to a, a successful point or this point where they say hey i'm bashing black women now and i'm switching teams and i'm rallying for white women i'm championing for non-black women and i'm not only am i just deciding to be with them i'm bashing black women and now it's a case where damn he was right. killed and we can't even come to his rescue because black women at the hands of his queen of his white queen and we and black women can't come to the rescue because you know we we feel like that's not our, our problem no more like <sighs> it's just in ta a tangled web down here on earth <laughs> we don't weave it they weave it um, and by they, I mean people like Christian. So to the point in which you made, his name is Christian Om Boom Selly. I don't know how to pronounce that. I probably butchered that. Thank you. Um, He's of African def descent. Definitely. Yep. 27 years old. They lived in Miami. Her name, definitely want to get that out here. Courtney Clenny, Cleany. Um, she is an OnlyFans model. Um and she's got like 2 million um, followers or something like that on her Instagram. So wow. she was, yeah. So she definitely um, had a following. Um, and apparently when this happened, I think the reason why they, from what I remember them saying um, that, th that this wasn't in the media as soon um, or it didn't get enough attention in the beginning was because she claimed insanity. And apparently when you claim insanity or something on mental, something like along those lines, you are then put in a, um, uh, you basically are put in something and forgive me for not knowing what this is, but it's basically some type of protection where they don't, um, release this out to the media you're essentially protected from outside sources putting this out there so that's why there's like this lag time as far as people not really hearing about it and it's really kind of interesting to me because I'm like so anybody can just kill someone and claim insanity and they don't have to be put out there in the news I mean if that's the case everybody should do I mean I would think everybody should do that um something don't have seem some right about it because it's just it should still be public mm -hmm. information if they were going to charge right her. it's seeming like they're not going to charge and i think her. they're trying to exactly and i think as more developments have come out it's almost like you know she's been getting like obviously feedback from people like well, girl just claim you know um self-defense and to your point like you said a lot of people have seen they said, you know, he was like the nicest guy to her. They did get in arguments. However, we have, we've never seen him like lose his cool or, you know, him hit her. We have seen her get aggressive with him, which yep. is really interesting. And these exactly. are people that are friends with the girl. You would think that they would yeah. be on her side. But they no, are like, they hey, had no, numerous like, people saying this. So it's just like, how could y'all not charge? Yeah. But yeah, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. 
But again, it's like, do do we feel like he would even want us to champion for him? I mean, because his level of comments, and I don't have those in front of me, but the stuff that was read to me that he had said was mortifying. I mean, you would have thought that we, the Black women of the population, like, just did something to this man that was like, we could never come back from type of like level of yeah. comments. They were very degrading. It they was were very, very hurtful, horrible, degrading comments. They were horrible comments. It went for me, it went beyond. I just don't um, have Prefer a preference black for black women. women. Yeah, it wasn't. That it like went that. way beyond like it, it just was like low ball. Like, like you were just disgusted with us. Um, and these white women are just your queens. All right. So, yeah, the only thing is, you know, it's unfortunate because it's just like either way, we don't win as black women either way. You know what I'm saying? Whether we give support or don't give support, it doesn't help us either way. Or so, don't give support. Yeah, because at the end of the day, yes, he's a black boy who said horrible things about black women. But unfortunately, right. that could that could still be y'all son or our son or somebody's son in 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Like that could still be because the police or whoever don't care. Your son could be dating a white woman. He shouldn't have to be afraid for his life because of that. You know, so at the end of the day, yeah, we can be salty and be like, that's on him. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But it just hurts us still. So it's just like nobody wins. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sad situation. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely feel like justice should be served in this example, um, in this particular case, regardless, I feel like we, we do still need to champion for him and his justice and, you know, cause his family at the end of the day, lost a brother, lost his like, whatever son, all the things. Um, and you know, who knows what was going on in his mind to even make those kind of comments again. I don't, no, but what we do know is that he has lost his life at the hands of his girlfriend. And it's, it's just, it's unfair. And especially because like you said, Whitney, she's more than likely it appears anyway, that she will get off for this. Yeah. Um, so and that's sad. And that's, I mean, this is the tale as old as time. And it's just like, you know, we want it to be a non-racist society, but that's just the history of this country. And it's just like, um, there's been a lot of crimes and stuff with black men in relationships with white women going back to, you know, slave times and Jim Crow era where there were consensual relationships and the white woman did not want to be caught in this consensual relationship with the black man. So she lied upon getting caught with this black man and the man got hung or sentenced to jail or some other horrible punishment. So it's just like- Genius yeah some heinous crime or whatever so it's just like this has been happening so when you guys want to have these interracial relationships it's like you got to know who you're dealing with because you can't treat it like you're you're dating someone from your own race unfortunately that's just not the time and era we live in right now it's just not there's going to be things that come up and you've got to think about that and that's not me being a bitter black woman like don't date that's just being real it's just not going to be the same so Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm Yeah. People need to think about that. Think twice. Think twice. Yeah. I have nothing to add to that. That was, that summed that up. (laughs) That's the fact. (laughs) Moving on. (laughs) Moving on. Um, (laughs) Girl, moving on. Nah, for real though. God bless him. But you know, we can only do so much, girl. Um, Girl. Speaking of other like court cases and such, I know Megan the Stallion, uh, she was in the news today. I, I think the court I don't know if the court case is still on or ongoing or it's over I have no clue but she was in the media because she did an interview with Gail King about what happened finally and it's getting a lot of mixed reviews I know you haven't personally seen it Mia but it's getting a lot of mixed reviews her interview um for a few reasons you know (laughs) one being is that she seems to have gotten very emotional about the shooting all right but there was no tears there was no visible tears but she seemed to be crying but there was no tears that was one comment all right the other comment was that she was saying things like Tory Lanez was standing over 
the window shooting even though she never said Tori's name she kept referring to him as like him and he but never said like Tori which is odd Mm -hmm. all right but she said maybe it's like traumatic for her to say that so I don't know but um she said that he was standing over the window (laughs) shooting and he yelled something like dance bitch and the reason that the whole fight happened is because they were all at, you know, Kylie Jenner's house and she was ready to leave, but the group of friends was not ready to leave. And that's what made everything fall apart in the limo or the, the car. Um, and that's why he started shooting at her. And so it's just, I have to watch the full interview. I only watch clips. I probably watched about six minutes of clips from what I could see on the internet. It's just a lot of holes in that story. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of like, things are just not adding up like logically I'm just really interested in how the the court case is going Um, I don't want to call this I don't want to say Megan is lying I'm just going to say when stuff happens really quick and like traumatic it's like that's why you need different people's vantage points because it's like she may not have seen everything or heard everything and maybe her friend did or maybe an eyewitness did or something it's just like it's gaps in the story that is just like this don't make sense and then it's like did you get shot mm-hmm. or did you not get shot and then it's just like which one is it Tory Lanez is five foot two how did he stand over a, a truck window and shoot at you I'm just trying to understand mm-hmm. like, I want to logically see what happened was it in you know I, right I know. so it's just a lot there's it's more like, holes in the story now there's more questions than answers it's more questions than answers. And I see why she took so long to talk about it because now people are really just like, y'all should have just left this alone. Cause now I'm even more confused. And, you know, some people are saying they believe her and some people are saying they don't, you know, so it's up to your own. I mean, at the end of the day, what we know is she got shot. Tori, I think, didn't he have a gun? Like it's obvious that he had the gun. Right. Tony, Tori. So where is the gray? Is it that we think that he wasn't now, the one that shot we're not, her? Well, apparently it could have been she got grazed. Okay. And not got shot. It. Okay. And she's not saying what happened or when he actually shot at her. She's saying she don't know when. Got it. You know, okay. she don't know when. Okay. And, it could, and that could be very true because- and it's, that could and when, be true it's, that could be true very, yeah especially when a lot goes on yes. at the same time like at a fight you don't know what happened in a fight like you're just heated, like i don't know she's heated and exactly yeah. that's why i would have preferred to just like because i hate to see her get slack like that because she the comments really aren't good is what i'm saying like i would expect more support for her but it's really just like I don't know if she was forced to do the interview. I don't know if she was just nervous. I don't know if she felt like she had to cry. So she tried to make herself cry. Like it was just odd because like she got really emotional, but there I've been that point of emotional and I've seen other people. And it's just like, you can't hold back the tears. You know what I'm saying? Even if you tried, you can't hold it back. And it's kind of just like, she was trying to get the tears to come, but they weren't coming, but she was, it was the emotion, but no tears. And it's just like, I don't know if she felt forced to do this to kind of win the people's, you know, uh, what do you call it? Just win the people over. But yeah. it just, it, I feel like it backfired on her because the comments are- wasn't giving what it was, what it was supposed to give. No. And people got to stop going on Gail King's show because like every time they go on Gail- <laughs> they do. Gail is not Oprah. <laughs> Gail is not any of it. Never not turns out good Barbara. Thing. What is it? Uh, what is it? Bar not Barbara Streisand child. Barbara Walter. She's not even like Gail will set you up. It just never <laughs> turns out good when you go on Gail's show. It's never gonna come out the way you think it's gonna come out. <laughs> and I'm still not over that whole Kobe. Was it the Kobe comment that pissed me off? Yep, it was. It was, Co- it was the said. Kobe one. Yeah, it was the Kobe. <laughs> Yeah, like, I just am not over that. I'm not over some of the other things that she's done in the past. Like, I don't know, Gail, I just be real. Gail's questionable. Her. Mm-hmm. She's questionable. Be careful when you go over to Gail, honey. Girl, yeah. ain't no telling what you gonna come out looking like. Facts. Ain't no telling. Facts, facts. Well, so I'll have to go and watch that, watch it and, you know figure yeah. that out that you know I saw clips and I'm like oh I need to you know watch it and that story going on. is unfolding um 
another story that's funny is that have you seen the tender swindler on netflix i never got through it all but i saw like half of it yes not i saw half of it randomly i randomly saw half of it yesterday with my mom or whatever and apparently he just popped up in the news today that they got a warrant for his arrest like in one of these countries spain or france i don't know (laughs) so now this man's like a real fugitive like they're looking for him and shit it's so funny and i'm just like this shit happens in real life like the parts that i did see of that movie i'm like this happens in real life the only thing is is that he kept it going like so many men give women i mean so many women give men money off the strength of like what these men say to them thinking they're going to get something back in return and then they just never do and the thing is he just had like a big scam going where he had all these other women making these women believe he had money when it was just their money that he was passing around right <laughs> Mm-hmm. this is hilarious now he's going to jail or trying are they trying to get him in jail but. yeah i watched i watched um like half of it it got really a little too crazy for me to the point where i was like okay you're dumb you're dumb you're dumb girl <laughs> so, like i'm like i can't you're dumb, you're dumb, you're dumb. i can't I said, do it anymore you wired this man thirty thousand. what Girl, if I'm wire a man, I don't even know thirty dollars. I got an issue. Like I'm already turned Girl, off. Like I'm like don't the most I can do nothing. for you, Simon, is a hundred dollars, and I need it back on Friday. <laughs> Girl, I need There's it. No I way. Need you to not even ask me for money. Don't There's ask no me way. For shit. Yeah, don't like, ask me for nothing. Don't ask me for nothing. Don't but ask the fact me for is, shit. what's funny is that some of these women weren't even with him romantically. Like some of these women was just like, he was my good friend. Like he was there with his daughter and his girlfriend. I thought he was a good guy. And I'm just like, you befriended a man with a daughter and a girlfriend and was giving him money when he got a girl. What? I can't. Y'all giving this man like bands, like by the droves. Like y'all ain't giving him no $20. (laughs) I was like, of course he didn't fuck with no black girls. Cause they would have looked at him sideways. What? what how much you need need? what what i'll put some on it i got some on it and i need it back immediately but i'm gonna need you to actually you know what i'm saying let me check let me let me and now we're never like we could never talk ever we could never talk after that we could never like i hate to be that person but i'm that person i don't like i don't like people to ask me for shit anyway don't ask me for nothing I, i mean me giving you my time is enough like is that not what we're here for anyway like whoa wait a minute not enough the time like you in the next Mm -hmm. hour much less give you a fucking loan girl i can't did you see the um did you see uh zaya wade and um her girlfriend yeah her boyfriend i'm gonna mention that her boyfriend I was going to mention that, but I was like, oh, should we keep it light? Because I feel like this is just. <laughs> is it going into treacherous Contro- territory? Controversy. Controversy. Okay. Melon and me, our listeners, y'all do not like when we talk about controversial stuff. Y'all bash <laughs> us. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? Honestly, with this story here, it. For me, it has less to do about the, tra- the trans part of the story. And I am on the fence with, even if, even if she was a, even if she, even if this was a straight couple, I'll say that like boy, girl, you know, born that way. Like, I don't even know the right term for Jesus. Help me. Um, (laughs) They're born. Like I feel bad. Science. I feel bad for saying, you know, you were born a man and born, born a girl, but if we had a just regular straight relationship and somebody's 13, 14, like, okay, I can speak from experience. If my son, he's 13, but if even if he was 14, one, he's not even allowed to have a social media. Let's just be very clear. Now he does have a TikTok and a YouTube. So I guess if he posted a picture on one of those um, of him and his girlfriend sharing a kiss, whether they were out at the movies or whatever, I would have absolutely a problem with it. Would I be like, oh my God, this is the end of the world problem? No, but I would have an issue with it just because I'm like, what are you doing? No, if you, obviously I know you're doing it. 
but you're not going to just be out here. Cause one thing I, what, one thing I know is you're not going to be with her next week or next month or like, so no, this is not what you need to put out there. Even if you're doing this behind the scenes, whatever, when I'm not around, I can't control that, but I can control the images that you're putting out here. And I don't, I don't feel like a 14 year old, 13 year old, whatever. I don't care if you're gay, bisexual, whatever should be taking pictures and posting them on social media for people to see. Why I think this story is so up in arms, I think there's two parts to it. I do think that for a lot of people, they are upset with the whole trans thing that, you know, she was born a boy, is now, um, Zaya is now wanting to be a girl. And then this, her boyfriend was born a woman and now is transitioning to wanting to be a uh, boy. So I think there's that part of it. And then I also think for a lot of people too, they have issues just with what I just said, you know, just, oh, they're maybe too young or whatever the case. But here's what I will say is, is that I feel like Zendaya, Lord Jesus, I feel like Zaya Wade has been through enough publicly in terms of like, I, like we get it, (laughs) like as from her parents, like we get that you're trying to push the envelope in terms of um what am I trying to say like accept of the world accepting and normalizing certain things that maybe um you know we as the people are not used to seeing so I get that part right do what you do parent how you parent I'm not here to tell you what you want your kids to do or not but I also think that for a large part of us we're just like okay we get it like you like she's already been ridiculed for you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, why do you guys keep, why? What's the point? Like, you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. But now in in that same sentence that I say that, because again, I know people like to take sound bites and things and make it their own, whatever. If they, and I do know that they have other kids, like boys or whatever, if they will allow their sons to take pictures with, women and kiss them and all the other things I have not seen that from either of their sons in the past maybe they're out there where their 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 parents have posted pictures or their sons have posted pictures of women at 13 and 14 they allow their kids to do that then you know fair game for everybody but it just seems like their other two boys have never really done that Zaya Wade we already know she's been in the news for a lot of different things um and now there's this it just feels like okay we get it type of thing for me maybe but, and from some of the comments that I've seen. Yeah, I agree. It's just too much. It's way too much. It's like y'all doing it on purpose now. I don't know. I don't know. You feel like the parents are doing it on purpose? You're saying? I mean, it looked like from what I saw, it looked like they were at a family function because they took pictures of the whole family. Yeah. And then I saw a separate picture like you know pose which is fine you know pose as your little boyfriend or whatever Mm -hmm. but from what I know when you're especially when you're around family like I was grown and had a boyfriend and didn't want to kiss my boyfriend in front of my family so it's just like (laughs) (laughs) y'all getting a little too comfortable around here and then it's just like y'all need to be mindful that like Mm -hmm. both of them both of them have the biological parts still to create a baby so it's just like you know that could still happen you know, I don't know how that works, mm-hmm. but I just know mm-hmm. it could if they both have the same, if they have the biological parts to make it happen. So let's not sleep on that. So it's just like, y'all need to be, these are underage kids. Why are you putting this out here? It's just a little, it's a little much. Mm-hmm. And it's already a mm-hmm. very overly sexualized world. I would be trying to slow that down. It already as is. Yeah. I, as a parent, would be trying to slow that down as much as I could because it's just so overly sexualized as it is. Like you said, you're probably gonna have so many other boyfriends. Why you want to put them out here on social media starting at the age of 14? No, that's what mm-hmm. we're not gonna do. So now it needs to be a whole social media training with these kids because this is just too much. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's not because I'm like we adults. Love. We have to think twice about our spouses and boyfriends that we post on the actual page. I know people be like, oh, thank God I didn't post him because that didn't work out or I'm glad I didn't post her but when we think about to our when we when we go back to our high school and middle school years like people switch boyfriends and girlfriends like every other two weeks it's like oh you you are so-and-so so-and-so is with so-and-so now and like (laughs) that's just how it was in middle school Mm -hmm. and high school so it's just like don't fall into that trap of posting everybody your 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 new boyfriend every two weeks like 
Yep. Not a good look. Not a good look. So I don't know. It's just too much. Like you said, LGBTQ RS beside is just not a good look because these kids are kids. Kids, kids. And I, God forbid you can't say nothing or you're just, oh my God, you're, you're every name in the book. If you say anything about anything, no, you can't, you can't have an opinion. You can't have an opinion about anything these days. Um, Oh, speaking of, sorry. Well, I don't want us to leave this topic because I sent, this is what I sent you. And I meant to mention it. Janelle Monet. This on the same kind of topic. Mm. Janelle yep. Monet has just came out as well. I think she had already came out saying she was bisexual, but now she is non-binary. And her reason being, she was on the Red Table Talk. Of course, this is where everyone just spills their innermost secrets to Jada Pinkett Smith. That's what it was built for. <laughs> Girl, I feel like today, I need a Red Table. Girl. <laughs> Stay off of the Red Table Talk and stay off of Gail King's show, y'all. Like, stop doing this. But um, she said, Janelle Monet says that the reason she's non-binary is because God does not have a gender. And she is of God. And it's just so many. <laughs> there's, just, there's so many spectrums between God. And this, she, she could not solely just be a woman. Because is God solely a woman? Mm-hmm. But, but she will forever relate and stand with, <laughs> stand with black Especially women. Especially with black women. Oh, you're going to stand with black women all while being in a black woman's body. Okay. Thanks for doing us a favor, sis. Like, yeah, I can't. Yeah. I cannot logically understand where people's minds are anymore I don't get it this this goes beyond sexual preference this ain't got shit to do with sexual preference here this is about something else okay this is about something else because she said everything I need to hear and this is why a lot of people are doing these transitions it's because y'all want the control that God had while creating us I don't understand why you think you are God coming from God does not equate you to being God. (laughs) It's never going to equate to that ever. So you're walking around here thinking you're God trying to recreate something that you didn't create. And I'm perplexed. I just can't believe this is how life is now. (laughs) I'm just, I can't, I don't understand. So I feel like, um, I don't think we will ever understand that or things even in that wave because we aren't there. I can understand so many other plights though. So many other plights of other people I can relate to. I understand. What I'm going to say is I don't agree. Because I'm going to, I'm going to, because okay, he made me it. understand. And I feel like there's a difference. Got between, it. There's a huge difference between people who are saying, look, I was born in the wrong body. I don't feel like a woman. I feel like I should be a man. I don't like this boot. Like this doesn't feel right to me. I feel like there's a huge difference between that and somebody saying, well, I don't feel like I should be a man or a woman because God isn't a man or a woman. So why should I have to be a man or a woman? Like, yeah. So you're saying like a big that, those fucking difference are like in the middle. They don't want to be labeled. The pronouns are like I'm not a he, a she. I'm not. It's anything. the non-binary for me, and it's like if it has something to do with your physical body, which is a lot of transgenders, they will say, "I don't feel like this is my body. I don't feel like I should be in a woman's body." And I can see a non-binary person saying, "I don't feel comfortable in a woman's body," or something like that. But what she is saying is that because God, who is a spiritual entity above all of us now, the creator of life that we know, because God does not have to choose whether or not God is a man or a woman, she shouldn't have to choose. And that to me, that's where it crosses a line onto something else. Like now, I don't, it doesn't sit well with my spirit how this is being spun now you know what I'm saying like now it's become bigger than oh my body I don't feel comfortable now it's like 
you want to be compared to God. You want us to compare you to God. And so now you're not just a he or she, you're, you're they, you are multiple people because God is everything. So now you're everything. I can't, I can't call me what y'all want to call me. I mean, I can't. I think that um, beyond the he or she, and sometimes even with those two terms for me, get it gets real complicated for me how um, um, this um, these groups of people um, are are wanting and choosing to identify in whatever realm, like, even if they're like, I'm a he or a she today, and they have the option to go back to being a he or a she tomorrow, that gets really confusing for me. <laughs> um, I, and it's like, I you go, gotta update your shit your, every like, time. I, I'd love to stick with you on, you know, he or she, I'm a little bit more understandable, but sometimes for me, even the he or the she can get real gray um, because in my whole point in saying that though is is that it never it's never ending. It, it's always more to that. It's always more to it. Non-binary. Um, I'm this. I'm that. I'm yeah. I, I'm not anything. I'm not anything. I'm not. Don't even look at me. Like don't call me anything. Like I just want to be. I'm not a human. I'm not anything. Like stuff gets real spacey and I'm like, wow, like what? I just, wow. I, to be, I just, I just take me back, dog. Take me the fuck back to when I was nine years old. I'm just like, and we was in the 90s. Where are we going? Much. Like, what are we doing? And again, Girl. do I think that people should feel comfortable in whatever realm they feel comfortable? Yeah, I mean, do what you want to do. Be do what, what you want to do. Want to do. I don't care about that. Be happy. My biggest thing is be if whatever yeah. it is that makes you happy makes you happy. Where I get frustrated is like the um you have to understand like you have to you have to make sure that you say the right thing all the time when it comes to certain groups of people. That's um, not fair. It's for, like if you don't agree for, with them, you are yes. labeled the bad guy, and it's just like your how you feel about yourself shouldn't involve me. The fact that I now have to participate in calling you multiple people when I'm looking at one person, that bothers me. <laughs> now I'm messing up my English. All the grammar that I was taught, Facts. the language, English language arts, Facts. like proper grammar, like now Absolutely. you messing up my, you know. It yeah. irks my yeah. nerves. It's like being around somebody who speaks of themselves in third person. That was already too much for me. You know what I'm saying? People like that. <laughs> it's just like now. You need her. Yeah. You're everybody but you're in one body is what you're telling me. <laughs> okay. and, and for me in that same, to finish, to see that all the way through the level of expectation, if I were to meet or to um, reference you as a woman, like, oh my God, I love you. I just think you're so beautiful. Isn't she great? Isn't she beautiful? It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a, what did you call me? Like, don't it's label almost me. Like, I don't gender it's, me. It's almost like oh like give me a second to catch up give us where is there grace extended with these groups for other people who need a second to catch up to come up I just want to know why two. is it, how is this okay like okay so I can just be something one day <laughs> like you know like I don't need there's no rhyme no reason no I like zebras so now I relate more to zebras than humans address me as a zebra like is that okay like where do we draw the line here is what I'm trying to figure out because I thought it was when you feel like you're not in the right body but Janelle Monae is telling us that because God is everything she is everything and I just don't girl I can't I just can't I I, I find that extremely disrespectful to God I'm just gonna say that it's extremely disrespectful like what are your credentials, ma'am? But then you have people you that don't be... believe in God either. You okay, know? but her, but she do. She do believe in God, and her reason is that. But God I'm saying is her God may look different to your God, the God that you pray to. In her mind, her God is the God that um, is, you know, 
different from the God that you grew up on. It gets real crazy. It just gets Girl, real. That's neither here nor there. I don't. I just think that. I just think God that it, it it gets real spacey. It does, and to each his own. You can do everything y'all want to do. I don't. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But like I said, I'm not gonna pull people into what I want. You know, like. Like I told sure. you at nighttime, if I say I, if I pretend to be married at, to Drake at night, I'm not going to go outside and say, y'all, I'm married to Drake. Like, that's just what I want to yeah. do in my time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to, I'm not going to make people feel bad for not feeding into my thoughts. Well, <laughs> you know that's what I'm saying? Thing, it's like that, that's really my thing is the grace that's extended for the people that need a second right you know like believe what you want to believe feel how you want to feel call it what you want to call it but if i i just need time to catch up because if you're gonna cuss me out and you're gonna go off on me and you're gonna make me feel bad like i need i need grace i need some i need there to be another box for those because it's honestly at this point we need a whole study on it you know how they have a study on history a study on class like i'm sure they're doing going, studies right now i'm sure if yeah. you guys are going to make um if you guys are going to make um and create the, this new world essentially within that community we have got to have some sort of teaching lesson so that those of us that who are ignorant to certain terms and labels and titles and all these things we need to we need something to catch up um hell you know we still trying to put down in people's throats the 300 years of slavery we've been up under and you know trying to get the real teachings of history instead of the ones that these white people didn't painted in these history books hell they trying to throw out they trying to throw out our history (laughs) girl so but you when know, it comes to this, everyone, this stuff. everyone's jumping on board real quick. Everybody's jumping on board immediately. So it's it's quite interesting. Um, I'm interested to see how this will play out. But I feel like every day something is coming yeah. um, up that I thought yeah. I once knew it all. And now I just remember I know nothing at all. Girl, I don't know nothing. That's all I know. I'm happy to be here. I love everyone and I feel everybody should have their choices in life. It's just, it becomes a point where I just feel like you said, don't bash other people. Don't like, this is really just causing more conflict. It It is. It really is. I just don't, I don't know. It's just, it seems like it just popped up out of thin air too. Cause it's like 20 years ago, I didn't hear nobody talking about non-binary. I didn't even know. I've never even heard that before. I just heard it in the last like 10 mm-hmm. years, you know, this is really just mm-hmm. developing. So Facts. crazy, crazy. But Facts. To be continued on that, because I feel like we're ever evolving in that space. <laughs> Today is yeah. Janelle Monet. Next week, it could be somebody completely different. Well, she's like the um, first Black artist because I know Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato, I think. She wants he, to be called an uncle. An uncle? Not an uncle. It's an A-U. I think she spelled it A-U-N-K-L-E. So it's a blend between an aunt and an uncle. It's uncle. <laughs> Girl, I can't. Who is she? Who's her nephew or niece don't know i have no idea but she wanted to do a blend of aunt and uncle so she now prefers to be uncle uncle okay well uncle good for her (laughs) go ahead uncle with your bad self um girl (laughs) <laughs> and you just never know you just never know every day it's something different you just never know um, girl. you never know I'm yep. to you. you learn girl. something every day every damn day um yeah i'm trying to think what other things we have to talk about um jada pinkett will smith i know uh people were shocked about the recent lineup for the red table talk um because at, originally they were saying they were going to come out and talk about the will smith slap incident on the next red table talk we don't want to hear season. about it 
the new lineup didn't show anything about Will Smith coming on there to talk about it. Girl, he is Jada not came about that. out. Girl, Jada came out and basically was like, "We are in. We are still in a process of deep healing." And you know, she's trying come. to force him on that show. He is not trying to be at that table. Girl, I personally feel like they don't want to talk about. I feel. I personally. I bet feel you like she does. I know she do. She doesn't care. Maybe she does. Um, but regardless, she did say that at the appropriate time, we will discuss, we will bring this to the red t- table top. And again, they're, of course, they're going to probably wait until it dies down. And then people aren't even thinking about it anymore, to be honest with you. And it's then like, by that time, we take a hiatus. Y'all family done been through a lot right now. Just like- well, and I think that that's what they're doing. I think she's just still doing the show for other people's healing. And they're just going to take a back seat to their, their healing on the front page and I feel like if you I'm not going to your red table to heal when I see all the unhealedness in y'all situation so I just don't understand like y'all need to pause this show nobody is anything that they post on the red table talk is going to be picked apart right now and public opinion is going to tear them apart just like they I do. don't know because yeah. this whole Janelle Monet kind of took the cake on this one ain't nobody said nothing about Jada and will with that guess i mean oh yeah that's what I'm, i know but they're oh. they're bashing janelle monet that's what i'm saying oh gotcha. like gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. negative gotcha. everyone's waiting to just eat up everything y'all produce on that show so but you know i mean i think i do think though that even people we thought were healed aren't healed i think that it's a constant what i'm trying to say is process I think what I'm trying to say is, is that what makes it, what makes people in my mind human is the fact that, you know, you can identify with certain aspects of certain things where people are, are able to come out and be like, oh, you know, whether you agree with whatever part of growth or healing that they themselves personally are going through. Um, now, if they're out here committing murders in you know, there's levels to certain like issues people deal with. But what I'm saying is, is when I, when it comes to like infidelity or um, just all kinds of just different things in that realm, whether they're a celebrity or not, it does kind of humanize the experience because, you know, you, th- a lot of people would think that, you know, especially when people have a lot of money mm-hmm. that, oh, things are just like on the up and up or whatever the case may be. And here's what I find to be really interesting while we're on the whole Will and Jada thing is that it's been talked about for years. Yes, they've had open marriages, but I know for a period of time, I remember there being like um, in the media, like Will Smith had been, you know, um, like cheating and stuff like that. Not necessarily with a name. I know he had some back and forth with his first wife, Cherie. Um, But it's always so interesting to me, and this is just a general statement I'm making. It's always so interesting to me when men cheat in the media, it's like a thing of like, oh, well, that's normal. It is something that we see more times than we don't. Uh, But when the woman is cheating or when the woman has things that you know aren't so like what is the norm or what we feel like should happen in a relationship it's like I feel like the scrutiny becomes that much more big I feel like it becomes way bigger than when the man does like and I say that to say because what I mean it's been known Will has you know done some things and he's even mentioned he's done some things for the first part of the years, Jada even admitted she was unhappy for several years in the beginning. And regardless of her reasons for staying and putting up with all of the things she then, you know, over the, within certain spaces was like, you know what, I'm going to start doing me. And I think from a subtle standpoint, that was her way of being like, man, fuck this shit. Like I'm going to go out and explore my damn self because how I'm living right now up under a rock. Yeah, I got all the money. He's buying me all these things, whatever the case may be. I think that in her mind, that was like her time to, so I say all of that to say like from an outside looking in, I get it. People don't agree with their relationship. They probably don't um, respect them for coming forward and sharing so much of what they shared. Um, And I get that too, especially if they're looked at as in a certain way, I guess, in the media. Um, 
but I feel like a lot of people are looked at in a certain way in the media and that's what makes the scandal so big is like damn I didn't think that they would do that or why would they do that or why would he do that to her blah 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 like it doesn't exempt anybody from um I would say I don't know being a human in a sense like just because they've gone through things and maybe they haven't dealt with certain things I'm feeling like and who knows they may have I don't know I I don't know their relationship I'm only speaking in a general standpoint just like high level not even necessarily Will and Jada Mm -hmm. I just think that people we um idolize certain people until we're like oh my god they're human too type of approach which what we do realize is that more and more celebrities are whatever come falling down to their knees almost like it's just too like high pressures so right I don't think that's not I I just you know I don't know why they I don't know why they still have the red table talk and they probably are still trying to do their healing I don't know if it's like a contract or whatever the case may be but um I don't know I feel like they could probably do both maybe maybe they are going through a healing phase while they're trying to heal others that are coming to the table. I don't know. Um, but I'm just going to say, um, it's nothing wrong with, you know, going through stuff and being human. That's not a problem at all. It's just at this point, it, you know, this Oscar thing, whatever just happened like a month ago, if that there's a lot of publicity, it looks more like, if you're not going to come to the table to talk about what happened and, you know, address all the shit that's going on in y'all, whatever the fuck y'all got going on, you have a lot of stuff going on. Like everyone does, obviously. But if you're not going to address it, it just looks more like you're just using that for ratings for the show for whoever you're going to bring on that week. It doesn't look, it doesn't seem like authentic. It just like, y'all have a lot of shit going on right now. So it's like, do you really give two fucks about Janelle Monet and what she has to unpack today? Like, Y'all whole family's in the media every damn day. Like, I just don't, to me, it seems more like about ratings unless you're going to air out the table and talk about what the fuck's going on and what everyone cares about. Or, you know, it's just like, clearly things aren't okay with y'all family situation or it has to be a reason why Will Smith snapped like that. It just, there's a lot of things going on right now. Everyone can see it, see it and sense it. So if you're not going to address it, it just seems like you're using the attention for the ratings for your show, because I just don't believe y'all really give a damn about what's going on with Janae Monell when you have your whole fucking lives is in the media every day. Like, I just, I don't believe that, but you know, you, you got to make see, a show. You gotta I make feel show. like it was the, I, in um, my mind, I feel like it was the opposite. Cause like when this happened, people were like, oh my God, they are doing this for ratings on the show meaning like they're going to get ratings on the show to have will come on the show and well that's going to get ratings regardless you know what i'm saying so now it's almost like a build-up or something you know like i feel like it's damned if they do damned if they don't honestly i feel like damned if they do come on and talk about it because people are going to be like why would they come on and talk about it and da 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 why would he because basically what they would say is something completely scripted it's not going to be i don't think it's going to be anything where it's this deep like I think it's going to be scripted from like an attorney standpoint this is the bullet points this is what you're going to say it's going to be rehearsed it's going to be very very like to the point and it's not going to be what we think or what I feel like most people in the media are hoping that it will feel like regardless of whatever is said I don't think it's going to be that because I do feel like they've learned their lesson there um I don't care if they ever talk about it I just know to me I I mean I personally don't care if they ever talk about it on the red table I just just know damned if they do damned if they don't when it comes to the rating standpoint right it may be maybe she don't give a damn about it they don't talk about it I don't necessarily know I'm not a viewer of that show anyway Mm -hmm. I just catch the you know whatever but I know me personally I don't want to hear Jada Pinkett Smith if I was a viewer knowing everything they have going on in their lives I don't want to sit up here and hear you be like oh 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 yes to find yourself yes I don't want to hear you do this and I know all the shit you want like this is not the time or the place right now for this I just don't believe you is what I'm saying like I just believe you have way more pressing shit going so on you right think now that she should have like <sighs> contract if she had a contract like let's say she had a contract for five years so you're saying that you think that she should they should have just like broke the contract and not have done this 
the heat. I don't know about. Heal. I don't know nothing about no contract or nothing like that. I thought this. I don't was either. I'm just saying, like produced. in my mind, I'm thinking like I thought this was her. I show don't know if they would have. Huh? From what I from what I thought, this is her show that she produced that goes on Facebook. So this is her full control. She controls this. I, I don't know if she maybe. I don't know if she's been continuously putting out uh, uh, shows before the slap. I just know I, I haven't seen no footage of her show in months and months and months and months until the Janae thing. And so I don't know if maybe it was a pause or maybe she just picked back up. It's just the timing is, you know, a little strange to me. So that's all. But I'm what saying. I'm saying is, do you think, I, I guess what I'm asking you is, is do you think, so set aside from the, con- I, I guess what I'm trying to figure out is, do you think that they staged the Will Smith accident or incident for show ratings? Oh, I or still don't you know nothing saying, about the staging thing. I don't know nothing about or that. Are you I don't know. Since the incident, or are you saying since the incident took place, let's go ahead and roll out a show so we can get ratings for the show? That's what I'm asking. Right. What I haven't seen none of her episodes visible on social media. So I'm assuming she hasn't been putting out episodes consistently. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she has because I'm not an active viewer. But from what I see, it don't seem like she has. It seemed like she just put an episode out after the Will Smith thing. So I mean, maybe she has, maybe she hasn't. But if that's what she's doing, then yes, she's trying to hop on the ratings. I don't blame her for that, but I wouldn't be enticed to watch her is what I'm saying. <laughs> that's okay. it. You know, I are, that's already not really my type of show, but knowing what I know now about what's really going on in their lives, I just don't feel like she has the energy to give towards other people. And really, and even her comments, a lot of her comments and stuff just don't even seem authentic when she, you know, it, it I just, I can't feed into that. I don't know, but good for them and their family. Who knows? You know? I don't know. I don't know. Shit. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't maybe know. she's been putting out episodes consistently and maybe people are only posting the, the Janelle one because that's the most interesting one in the last few months. I don't know, but I haven't seen her. Yeah, I mean, I know that Tor- so. like, I don't know when I, I've, I started watching the show and then I fell off just because of where it airs. But when I usually right. catch it is if somebody posts a clip of somebody and I'm like, Oh, let me go and watch it to your yep. point. Like, you know, me too. I, obviously something, nothing's been posted, but, mm-hmm. um, so I don't, I, I don't know when the last one is, but I have watched it. I have even peeked in, during certain times I have not been a consecutive watcher no um mm-hmm. but I was trying to see if she had anything out here um yeah her previously episodes. because yeah, yeah I don't I have not watched um watch the show in a minute yeah. um I wouldn't go but I do know she had and... episodes in 2021 I do know that she had right and I ain't heard I of no episodes know. this year is what I'm saying until after the slap so that would make me think she's trying to hop on the ratings of the show and get this ball rolling which I don't like I said I'm not blaming her for that I just don't I feel like she's milking it you know um but like you said damned if you do damned if you don't so you might as well get your coin okay yeah yeah might as well get your coin to be continued but I, i'm I, sure that they'll come out and say something i'm sure they will too but it's just something in me that feels like if if everything was completely legit and real then we did witness will smith have a breakdown on national television and i just mm-hmm. feel like there's a part of me that sees that in jada as well like i don't i don't feel like jada has it all together i feel like she could have a breakdown too so i just feel like mm-hmm. i just don't feel like she's in a place to be on the red table talk, red table talking. That's just, that's just how I feel, but. And he's not. And so, you know, and he's not on there, this on the lineup. So I'm saying she, I'm saying she as in Jada. Yeah. But I'm saying regardless, he's not going to be on there for as, from as far as we know, um, anytime soon, or at least if he is on there, it'll probably be a surprise to everybody. But as of right now, I think everybody thought he was going to be on there on the lineup which is why there's been the whole like comments like, you know, why would she not have him on there? They said that they were going to have him on there and he's not on the lineup. So, and probably for just reasons for whatever it is, whatever his reasons for not being on the lineup right now. And again, you know, they're not, it's not uncommon for them to maybe have a surprise appearance. So who knows, they may sneak something in, but, um, I don't know. 
And I also think too, if they did put him on the lineup, I something about that too, in my mind, in my weird twisted mind would be like, oh, they did that for like ratings. I don't want him on mind. there. I didn't like their first talk with the whole entanglement thing. I thought that was unnecessary. Like I'm not, I don't, I didn't think none of that needed to happen. I think that Will Smith has, you know, I love Will Smith. So to me, you, he didn't really taint his image to me, but you know, he's tainted his image no. with a lot of people um, just being so accessible in that way. You know what I'm saying? Like his, his mega stardom mm-hmm. was a lot more bigger than Jada's. So for her, for her to make him get on that table and just spill his guts, is just like, I'm not going to say she made him cause he's a grown ass man, but for that to happen, it's just like, that didn't really need to happen. And if, and if, he wasn't with Jada had that had happened probably not we wouldn't have ever saw that side of Will Smith so it's kind of just like she's kind of the reason why he lifted the veil I feel and you know he, he made his choices but I definitely feel like a lot a lot of this has tainted him not just the slap but you know just him revealing so much and I'm not, gonna say, I'm not going to say responsible because he's a grown man. I'm not going to say responsible, but definitely I don't think it would have happened if he wasn't been with her. Like, you know, I don't think he had no desire to like get on the table and like talk about his marriage and infidelity. Like, I don't see that happening. Um, but, you know, it is what it mm-hmm. is. We're here now where we're at. And a lot of people feel like Will Smith is more relatable and a lot of people feel disappointed. And that's just how life is, you know, but yeah. yep. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, how, we'll no, see. I mean I get it. I get it. Apparently, he got a lot of offers, a lot of movie offers since the whole. Oscar. Heck yeah! So, I don't think it's. Ain't, I think he is going to. He's going to soar and do even more amazing things if he chooses. If he didn't yeah. decide to work a day in his life, he does he's not good. have to. He's good. He's good in um, all books. Like that's why I feel good. like too that they just kind of like do what they do. You know, they're kind of like just they they kind of live a life to me of like whatever we want to do like even their kids are very much like very fluid and flowy and go with the flow wind like spirits in my opinion that's how I feel like they are so you know it is what yep. it is right yeah god bless I'll even willow be on the red table mm. <laughs> all of them I just yes. cannot <laughs> Gammy, yes, oh, Gammy. Yes. You know? <laughs> right, right, right. It's very like it's just the energy is very mm-hmm, like, like okay. so funny. And it's crazy to me too because Jada, she's in like a lot of my favorite movies. So I this Jada on the red table talk, I'm like, girl, you was in, you know, um, set it off you were in minutes of society like uh what was the other one what was my other favorite one she played the ghetto uh oh what was it I forget what it was but I mean she just her personality is so different even now to me too which is so interesting and maybe it's not maybe behind the scenes she's still got Jada that's what I fell in love with her for Jason's lyric all of that like now it's very I feel like she's not necessarily her authentic self, which is why sometimes when you make the decisions that you make, it's out of rebelliousness. You know what I mean? So I don't know if she's like, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways. We'll be following this story and all the others. Yes, (laughs) we'll be following. Yep. So make sure you guys are tuned in. I think that about wraps it up for today. Yeah, I think so. So That's all I got. That's all I got as well. Y'all make sure y'all follow Melon and Me podcasts on all platforms. And we'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Bye.